Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. This is going to be a short video because it is unbelievably simple. And we're going to be talking about the Humble Index Card. Now, this is probably a, a newer one in that it's so very thin, but it doesn't matter. Use whatever you have. I think that I, if I remember correctly, this idea first, uh, I first saw this idea um, done by Pam at the Paper Outpost. Um, essentially, she <laughs> and I had a whole bunch of, um, you know, like when you buy a stack of quilt pieces, uh, not fat quarters, but those five by, I guess five by fives or six by sixes, whatever it was. Anyway, I had a lot of them because you can see these are all color coordinated. And I guess so did she. So the idea basically was to uh, use an index card, glue the fabric to it, uh, work in a pocket. And, and of course that makes sense here because you know, you're not going to cut a little strip off. So I'll just, you know, show you a few more. Um, I did a bit of stamping, I guess, and a little bit of painting there. And all of these I've kept closed with um, paper clips with some sort of fiber attached to them. Anyway, you can see there are a whole wad of them here. So the other day when I came across these, I thought, well, okay, it's a good idea worth, uh, you know, re-exploring and to do it in light of um, Christmas. So I will show you what I did. Um, so basically I got a number of index cards. I got pieces of a Christmas fabric, basically scraps, essentially, because you don't need that much. <clears throat> I think an index card, <clears throat> excuse me, is five by, five by three. Um, so in some cases, oh, I went a step further and I turned them into little booklets. So where I had surplus fabric, I used the same idea and did pockets. This one was narrower, so it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's more like just, a, a, you know, a tuck spot. It's so shallow. Oh, this one. Boy, a lot of threads to pick. This one, uh, because of the the pattern, I basically, I didn't want, you know, half of cent, like they're all, anyway, I didn't have, <laughs> I couldn't have a pocket. So that's, that's what I'm trying to spit out here. I couldn't have a pocket. And then with all these others, it doesn't really matter, which, you know, there's no up or down. So you can see that I got quite a few done. And here's another one that uh, without pockets. And I just basically, you know, let it extend past. Now these, those would have all uh, come pinked already. So, um, but with these, I just left them as is. Now I am keeping them clipped, closed, just to train them to, to be that way. But they also, I certainly um, could put uh, decorated paper clips on them and probably will. Uh, so that is that. But I do have, geez, I should have. Uh, where in the world did I put them? I also, oh, here they are. I have a bunch more ready to go because again, you know, sort of that whole mass making mindset. Once you have, I don't know why this one keeps going out of square. Um, 
once you have kind of your supplies assembled and maybe a bit of a mess started, then you might as well just keep going. So this one, um, I, I don't know, I'll probably just trim it and have no pocket. So basically what I did with all of these, I put, I glued the lines, lined side down onto the wrong side of the fabric because I just wanted, you know, a blank, um, a blank canvas, so to speak. Now I can also go and do some stenciling on those if I wish. And all I did basically was put some glue on to hold it in place, to center it and hold it in place. And I, and I let, you know, a few hours passed before I actually took them to the sewing machine and did them. So you can see I have this Holly one to do, a couple more of these Santa heads. That's cutting her close. I think two, this might be one of, I think I had to, uh, not I think I had to, I did have to, uh, trim the length on a couple of these cards and it was probably these two because I didn't want to waste you know I wanted to get the most out of the fabric I had so um, oh and then this is sort of a better indication of what that Santa fabric is like you know some they're going every which way and you know with faces you kind of don't want to you know cut a guy's head off halfway or anything. So maybe I'll just do one for the heck of it. I mean, this is, uh, with this one, it's just a matter of remembering which is up. Okay, so trees are pointy at the top. So again, just a bit of you, and it's more, well, I guess it, it obviously does some bonding, but it's it's really the stitching that is going to hold it all together. And because there is that little perimeter of fabric around, um, you know, you don't, you're not really not really stitching through the glue is what I'm trying to say because you know we don't want to guck up our um, our needles for sure oh good grief I can't pick up this card whoopsie didn't have this issue when I was doing this without an audience And again, if things are slightly, you know, not even, well, number one, that's fine in itself. But number two, it uh, there's usually a remedy. Okay, now with this one, it is kind of backwards in the sense that, you know, because we have our books this way, So I will put it, you know, so that there's at least most of his face on the on the cover, so to speak. <clears throat> so I hope you are well. I hope you're crafting your little hearts out. Um, it is Halloween <clears throat> evening as I'm doing this. And of course, um, you know. There are fewer and fewer farm families um, good grief, living on the land. And uh, so it would be, it would really not be <laughs> a very uh, productive trick-or-treating experience for farm kids to go um, to farm neighbors. So, forever and a day, 
farm kids have gone to town where you can sort of maximize your effort. So what I'll end up doing with this one is just trimming that off, giving it a little bit of surplus there that I can fray if I want to, and um, so on. Okay, I'll do one of these just because it's got, and again, there is really no <clears throat> up or down on this because these guys tend to be you know, facing every which way, so. Uh, it ended up being rather a nice day here today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Above, uh, like it was, I think, plus five or six, which was nice and sunny. So, I mean, that's good. It's never fun when kids have to sort of wear, you know, a winter coat over their costume. <laughs> Can't get rid of them. Okay, so this is going to... oh. This one doesn't even seem white. Maybe, oh, maybe it's supposed to go this way. Yeah, can't fool this kid. At least not for long. So what I did to hold, <clears throat> on those with pockets, what I did to hold them uh, in place for stitching was just put a, you know, a few dots of glue, or art glitter glue, I mean. Just to make the sewing a little easier. Now, on this uh, prototype... It doesn't feel as though it was glued. The fabric wasn't glued to the card, but there is that line of stitching down the center that serves the purpose of holding the fabric in place. So, and of course, these could these could be like those. They don't have to have no paper added to them. Oh, I've got two more. I might as well do them while we're talking. So I haven't decided yet, <clears throat> excuse me, if I will be adding any decorations. I might because, um, you know, I've got stuff. I've got stuff, man. And I might as well use my stuff. Remember the old... Series, use it, don't store it. Haven't done anything with that lately. Uh, I'm not quite sure when you'll be seeing this video, but it will definitely be after my uh, giveaway video. So I hope you take the time to watch that. I probably went into a little too much detail about what the prize is because... Is there anything left to discover? Probably not. Um, but I know that when I have, um, you know, whether it's with a journal purchase or can't really say I've ever gotten any Happy Mail to speak of. Um, I, I did take part in a challenge uh, this spring with uh, Marnell from Mimi's Keepsake. It was a slow stitch thing. And would you believe that she gave a package of good? She mailed a package of goodies to every participant. Like she was hosting the thing. Anyway, I didn't know that was a thing. So I was shocked. And of course, it was lovely because that was the very first thing that like that I had ever received. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Oh, anyway, the point I was trying to make is that you know, you get something from somebody and you do your best to guess, you know, provenance and age and, and even what is it. <clears throat> but sometimes um, you just need an explanation from somebody. 
to tell you what something is or how old it is. So that's basically what my description did, I guess. Maybe I should lift this up a bit and I can have a tuck spot on this one as well. So, of course, um, I bet my bottom dollar that you've got index cards or could access some very easily. I bet you you have fabric scraps. So I think this is one of those really simple things that, you know, look like kind of the sum is greater than all its parts. <laughs> um, it looks better than the stuff that went into it. I guess what I'm trying to say here. And yes, there are, you know, a few steps. And there is some sewing. Although if you didn't want to sew, you wouldn't have to. You could just glue everything. And that's all I have prepared. So I will let these guys dry and then head back to the sewing machine. I do now have to think about decorating some paper clips. I'll probably go for some colored ones, some red, green ones, white ones. Maybe I should trim this right now. Would have been better to do it before I. Oh, that's a salvage edge, so edge, so that's why it doesn't want to. That kind of crumpled that up a bit. But hey, by the time I. I'm done with this. You won't even know. So I've got those few to sew in. I uh, am going to stop there. Oh, I should say that, yes, if you haven't seen the video about the giveaway, by all means, watch it. Uh, see if you qualify. And uh, enter. The deadline is November 8th, Mountain Standard Time. I think I said it for 1 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Uh, so... Yeah, good luck to you. And uh, try this. It's fun. It's easy. It's also a great way to use up little bits of fiber or ribbon or whatever you might have. So thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.